This is a quick overview of some features of the dependency graph. After the analysis, the dependency graph shows the dependencies between the projects. When choosing a project, the projects that are dependent are highlighted with the green color, and the projects that they are dependent on are highlighted with the blue color. This makes it easy to explore the dependencies between the code elements. Right-clicking a code element in the dependency graph allows you to view its internal dependencies. Here we have the dependencies between the classes. A cyclic dependency is characterized by a red edge. We can zoom to explore the dependencies in more depth. By default, the box size is proportional to the lines of code. However, we may choose many other metrics to visually explore these metrics in the dependency graph. For example, we can choose the cyclomatic complexity metric. The edge thickness is proportional to the number of methods used, and we can change this metric to focus on types, namespaces, or fields dependencies. When you want to explore the dependencies between many code elements, it's preferable to use the dependency matrix, which is a compact way to represent and navigate across dependencies between components. A dependency is represented by a colored cell showing the weight of the dependency. A dependency cycle between many components is represented by a red square. Lastly, the black cell represents the dependency cycle between two components. To go in-depth and check the dependencies between two classes, just double-click the cell to show all the internal dependencies between methods and fields. By default, the weight of a cell is the number of methods used directly. We can change it to show the direct and indirect dependencies, or focus on types, fields, or namespaces instead of methods. To show a dependency in a graph, just right-click the cell and choose the first option. We can also easily explore the dependencies for a cyclic dependency using the context menu. If you want to focus only on the dependencies of an element, just right-click on it and search for the elements using it. A CQLink query will be generated with the result and you can easily export it to the dependency graph or to the dependency matrix. To discover more features of the dependency graph and the dependency matrix, just download CPP Depend and enjoy using its features.